Section 6.1, numbers 20 and 25 from the homework. Factor by grouping, number 20. Here we have four terms, which is usually what you're going to see when you're going to want to factor by grouping. And the first thing I notice is that if I group the first two terms together, 4 and 9xy, there's nothing in common for factors that I can pull out. And even though these two, the last two, do have a common factor of 2, I'm going to want to rearrange things so that both groupings are going to have something to pull out. So let's try if we switch the positions of the 18y and the 9xy. Because moving the 18 over here with the 4, they're going to have a common factor of 2. And the 9xy next to the 2x, they're going to have a common factor of x. So rewriting, we get 4. And when we move the 18y, and this is true for any term that you move over, the sign before it goes with it. So we get minus 18y plus 9xy minus 2x. And now we're going to try to factor by grouping. So group the first two together and the last two together. So for the first ones, 4 is 2 times 2, 18 is 2 times 9, so we have a common factor of 2. And we write the leftovers in parentheses, 2 take away 9y and just carry down that plus sign. And for the next ones we have x and x are the only common factor. So we pull out an x. The leftovers go in parentheses 9y minus 2. And now what I notice is that the binomial terms, which I'm, I'm hoping I can pull out as a common factor to complete the factoring, have the terms in the different order, 2, 9y, and then 9y, 2. So I'm going to rewrite this last one here so that the terms are in the same order. And it doesn't matter which one I rewrite to be in the same order as the other one. So I'm just going to keep the first one the same. And again, I can move terms around as long as I keep the sign in front of it. So if I move the 2 to the front, the minus goes with it, minus 2 and the 9y going last, and it's a positive, so I'm going to say plus 9y. All right, now they're in the same order, 2, 9y, but they have different signs. This one's plus 2, minus 9y. This one's minus 2, plus 9y. They need to have the same sign and the same order for me to be able to say, yes, they are common. I'm going to pull them out. So now we need to switch the signs on this guy here, the last one. So the first one stays the same, 2 times 2 minus 9y. If I pull out a minus sign from both of these, they're going to switch signs. And that's okay to do, as long as I switch this sign right here. So take away x times 2 take away 9y. And think of it the other way. If I was to redistribute this minus sign through here, I'd get minus 2 minus minus is plus 9. All right, so that's why it's okay to do that. You can just pull out the minus sign and change whatever the sign is here. And then that flips these two signs. Now they're the same, 2 minus 9y, 2 minus 9y. That means I can pull it out as a common factor. All right, so those are going to be pulled out to the front, 2 minus 9y. Parentheses, leftovers, 2 take away x. And then we have our complete factoring. All right, now for number 25. Same idea, factor by grouping. So again, the first thing we want to do is look and see if, if I pair up the first two together, will there be a common factor? No, there won't. And the last two would have a common factor, but that doesn't really matter because the first ones don't. So let's switch things around, and if I pair up those two, do they have a common factor? Yes, r and an r. Each of them has at least one r, so I'll be able to pull that out. And would those two have common factors? Yeah, they both have a 5 as a common factor and also a t. So let's go ahead, switch those two guys. So I get r squared. Remember, the sign in front of it goes with it, so plus 3wr minus 15tw and minus 5tr just comes along.
And now I can start grouping. Group those two and group those two. First grouping, I have R in common. 1R is the most I can pull out because that's all that the second term has. So R and then leftovers. There's 1R left at the beginning. Plus and then 3W is left for the second term. And now for the second grouping, I know there's a 5 in common because 15 is 5 times 3. So common factor of 5 and also a T. The question is, what sign do I want to put down? Do I want to carry the minus sign, or do I want to put a positive? So if I look at this binomial right here, it's positive, positive. This one here, the only way it's going to be positive, positive is if I get rid of that minus sign and pull it out and put it here in the front. And then when I look at what's left over, I pulled out a 5 and a T, I'm left with 3w, I also pulled out that minus sign. So I'm left with just a 3w. And over here I pulled out the minus sign, so I'm left with a plus. And I pulled out a 5 and a t, so I'm left with an r. Alright, so that's why I wanted to pull out the minus sign. I wanted to match the signs that I have here. And these two guys are the same, they're just in a different order. And because they're being added, it doesn't really matter which order I put them in, so I'll just rewrite the second one to look like the first one. Like that. So now we have r plus 3w is a common binomial. I'm going to pull that out. r plus 3w as a common factor. Leftovers go in parentheses. r take away 5t. And then we're done.